It was a chilly morning in Amsterdam, and the city's famous canals shimmered under a pale sun. Locals and tourists were gathering on the banks of the river, phones poised, all eyes fixed on something that looked more like a piece of modern art than a piece of infrastructure. Suspended high above the water was a bridge, its silver, swirling lattice glinting in the light. But what truly made this bridge impossible wasn't its beauty or even its location. It was the way it was built. This bridge wasn't assembled by a crew of workers with hammers and drills. It wasn't poured from concrete molds or welded together on site. No, this bridge was printed. Layer by layer, a robotic arm had drawn it into existence, following a digital blueprint with the precision of a master craftsman. Would you trust your life to a bridge built by a robot? Drop your answer in the comments. And if you're fascinated by stories of extreme engineering and the future of construction, hit subscribe and ring the bell, because this is Extreme Builds, and today we're crossing into the future. To understand how we arrived at this moment, let's rewind a few decades. Back in the 1980s, 3D printing, known in the industry as additive manufacturing, was used for tiny plastic prototypes and replacement parts. The idea of using it to build anything large, let alone a bridge, seemed outlandish. But as the technology evolved, so did our ambitions. Engineers began to wonder, if you could print a model, why not print a house, a building, or even a bridge strong enough to carry thousands of footsteps every day? The first step came in Madrid, 2016. A small, curving pedestrian bridge printed from concrete. It was a proof of concept, a way to show the world that this wasn't just a fantasy. But in Amsterdam, the dream grew bolder. The MX 3D bridge wasn't just a walkway, it was a statement. Designed by Dutch artist Joris Larman and his team, it was printed from stainless steel, its organic curves and intricate latticework impossible to replicate with traditional methods. The process was mesmerizing. Six access robotic arms, moving like dancers, welding molten steel wire in mid-air, building the bridge up inch by inch, day after day. Printing a bridge isn't just as simple as pressing start on a machine. The MX3D team began with a 3D digital model, carefully designed to balance beauty with strength. This blueprint was fed into the robots, which used a process called wire in arc additive manufacturing. Imagine a hot glue gun, but one that melts steel at over 1500 degrees Celsius. Every movement had to be perfect. If the robot's path was off by even a few millimeters, the whole structure could be compromised. Engineers ran hundreds of simulations, built test pieces, and constantly adjusted for temperature, humidity, and the quirks of molten metal. And then there were the real-world challenges. Amsterdam is a city of rain, bicycles, and narrow streets. The bridge had to withstand not just the elements, but the constant flow of people and the occasional bump from a passing canal boat. To ensure its safety, the MX3D bridge was packed with sensors, hundreds of them, measuring vibrations, stress, temperature, and even how many people were crossing at any given moment. This wasn't just a bridge, it was a living experiment, collecting data to help shape the future of construction. But behind the technology, there's always a human story. For the engineers and designers, 
the MX3D bridge was a leap of faith. They weren't just building a crossing, they were building trust in a new way of thinking. As the bridge was transported through the winding streets of Amsterdam and lowered into place, locals gathered to watch. Some were excited, others were skeptical. Could a robot-built bridge really be safe? For the city, it became a symbol of Dutch ingenuity, a bridge between centuries-old canals and tomorrow's technology. But for workers in the construction industry, it raised tough questions. Would robots take jobs away? Or would new opportunities emerge for programmers, robotic specialists, and digital designers? The answer, at least for now, is a bit of both. The MX3D project created new roles and demanded new skills. And as people began to cross the bridge, snapping photos and sharing stories, it became clear. This was more than a shortcut. It was a conversation starter about what's possible. Of course, nothing groundbreaking ever goes perfectly. The printing process ran into breakdowns. Robots needed repairs, and software bugs caused delays. The original plan was to print the bridge directly over the canal, but weather and safety concerns forced the team to create it in a warehouse instead. Transporting the finished bridge through Amsterdam's ancient, narrow streets was a logistical puzzle that took months of planning. But every challenge led to innovation. The team developed smarter software, installed real-time monitoring systems, and turned the bridge into a research platform for future projects. And the impact spread far beyond Amsterdam. In China, engineers completed the world's longest 3D printed concrete bridge, 26 meters, or about as long as three city buses. In the US, universities are experimenting with bridges made from recycled plastics and ultra-strong composites, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So, what does this all mean for the future of construction? 3D printed bridges can be up to 50% cheaper to build, thanks to reduced labor and less waste. Projects that once took years can now be finished in months or even weeks. And sustainability? 3D printing creates far less waste. And sustainability? 3D printing creates far less waste. Some bridges are already using recycled materials or green concrete that absorbs CO2. Imagine a world where you can build a bridge in a remote jungle, a disaster zone, or even on the moon. NASA is already testing 3D printing for extraterrestrial construction. But there are hurdles too. Building codes and regulations need to catch up. Public trust is crucial would you cross a bridge that looks like it belongs in a sci-fi movie? And while robots do the heavy lifting, skilled humans are still needed to design, oversee, and maintain these incredible projects. So, are 3D printed bridges the future of construction? The MX3D bridge in Amsterdam proves that what once seemed impossible is now reality. As printers get bigger, materials get smarter, and designs get more creative, we could soon see 3D printed bridges spanning rivers, highways, and even canyons all over the world. Would you walk across a 3D printed bridge, or do you still trust the old-fashioned way? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the future of construction, don't forget to like subscribe and share for more stories about extreme builds and impossible engineering. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. See you in the next one.